Welcome! In this video you will learn how to calculate the window to wall ratio, which is a required input for EDGE certification. The window to wall ratio, or the WWR, is the total glazing area of a project divided by the gross exterior wall area. The gross exterior wall area is the sum of the area of exterior facades. This includes walls, windows and doors. The total glazing area is the sum of the glazed area in the exterior walls, including the frames. The glazed area is any opening covered with glass, including windows, doors and curtain walls. To determine the WWR of your building, calculate the gross area of each exterior wall and the glazing area of that wall. Repeat this for each exterior wall of the building. Add the areas for the exterior walls that face the same orientation. For example, the areas for all exterior walls facing north must be added together. The same must then be done for the glazed areas in each orientation. Next, we need to input the sum of the exterior walls and glazed areas for each orientation into the WWR calculator on the EDGE app. To do so, open the EDGE app and select your building typology. Now we need to select the orientation of the building in the Design tab. Let's assume the building is facing south. Then go to the Energy tab. To open the WWR calculator, click on the three dots in the upper right hand corner of the WWR energy measure. Next, enter the calculated values for each orientation. The EDGE app will calculate the WWR for each orientation as well as the WWR for the entire building. Click Insert so your percentages appear within the measure. EDGE will compare the performance of a project's WWR to the local base case. The base case WWR can be found in the Key Assumptions section of the Design tab. Typically, a lower WWR results in energy savings. Take note that when the WWR is higher than the base case as indicated in the key assumptions, a project will typically have negative savings. The higher WWR will have to be compensated for by other energy saving measures. In some cases, special considerations must be made. For example, if a wall is enclosing a balcony and has a large opening, that wall should not be added to the exterior wall calculations because the balcony is open to air. A good rule to follow is the exterior walls that count for WWR are the walls that are separating the interior condition space from the outside air. Another special case is a curtain wall, which will be 60 to 100% glass. In this case, the glazing area includes all the glass and the frame, but any opaque panels would not count towards the glazing area. Examples include insulated spandrel panels or insulated metal panels. It's important to note that when entering the information of the curtain wall into the EDGE app, you will need to include the opaque elements in the Materials tab. Now that we've calculated our building's window-to-wall ratio, we can continue to design the energy efficiency of our building.